This section relates to the GIS tutorial lab book, chapter six, which deals with spatial data processing. We'll start with that, and uh, as we go through, you'll see that with each of the units, we have lecture material that deals with the textbook concepts and, and, the, and the broader concepts, and then we have lecture material that deals directly with issues in the tutorial manual. So this is related to the tutorial manual. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about attribute extraction and then feature location extraction and location proximities. Later files will deal with geoprocessing tools and model builder. So the concept of attribute query extraction, for example, you have uh, tracks, these are census tracks for an entire state, but you want tracks for one county only, and this is what you would do by setting up a definition query and then go through and, uh, and uh, make a selection and then use that selection to create a layer from your selected features. So for example, you select your tracks by county. If you only want the ones in Cook County, that's what you would do. You can select by attributes or you could do a definition query and then as a result come come up with a selection process that relates to, in this case, the county, and you can see that Cook County is 031 in terms of its code, so county equals 031. That creates uh, a selection, and then you can export that new feature to a new feature class or a shape file. And then as a result, you then are able to just deal with the county, the tracks that you want to deal with in that case study, and you don't have to worry about the rest of the state. You export the selected features by right-clicking to export selected features by going to data and export data. And when you do export data, then you can create an output feature class and create a shape file. Another option for you is to use selection and make a uh, layer from that selected feature. But keep in mind that does not create an exported data set that stands on its own. And then you would add your new layer that shows your Cook County census tracts. And here's what it would look like. Now what you're seeing here is the Cook County tracts sitting on top of the Illinois tracts. Another concept is feature location extraction. If we want to select by location, this is a very powerful function that's unique to GIS. You can identify spatial relationships between layers by using the select by location function. You can then find features that are within another layer. So for example, you have the Cook County Census tracts but you only want the city of Chicago. You can't use select by attributes because there's no attribute for Chicago itself. So if you use the municipality layer, the city of Chicago is a muni municipality within Cook County. Select Chicago from the municipalities layer. And that's what your selection would look like. Keep in mind, municipalities refer to cities, townships, suburbs, various uh, local government um, municipal boundaries that would then make up the county. You select Chicago from the municipalities layer, and here it is shown over the Cook County census tracts. You use the selection the interactive menu, the tool looks like this. So you're setting select features from Cook County tracks. The source layer is Cook County municipalities because what's important there is you're going to select out Chicago. And the target layer features have their centroid in the source layer feature. So it's part of Cook County in other words. And that's your result. You have a layer now that just has tracks for Chicago. You could then export that as a shapefile if you needed to, or you could keep it as a layer within your geodatabase. And that's what the city of Chicago then looks like within Cook County. 
location proximities, these help us define uh, points, lines, and polygons that are near to one another. That w when you're looking for things like health officials want to know where polluting companies are near water features. So this would be a good example where you're, you're interested in proximity and you want to find out where you have cases of certain conditions near other conditions. So you use select by location and you're selecting features from the target layer would be polluting companies, the source layer would be lakes and rivers, and now the, the important factor here is the spatial selection method is the target layer's features are within a distance of the source layer feature. They're not necessarily contained, they're within a distance, in this case half a mile. You have to define that based on the, the results that you're looking for based on the kind of study you're doing. It needs to make sense, in other words, it's not always going to be half a mile. It has to make sense at that level of scale and for that data. And you could look for points near points. School officials want to know what schools are near polluting companies. So here you are, you select by location, you're selecting features from the schools, and the source layer is polluting companies, and you want to then create a target layer of features within a distance of the source layer feature. So in this case, you're going point to point. A distance of one mile in this case. And then polygons intersecting lines. Transportation planners want to know what neighborhoods are affected by construction, a construction project on a major highway. So you select features from neighborhoods, the source layer is major streets, and the target layer features intersect the source layer feature. And so you can see that you have many different ways that you can use the select by location to look at proximity and look at drawing out data and relationships among different feature classes and among different attributes.